Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Randy Fix TV. Today we have here a uh, stick mixer, Roboku MP550 Ultra. So we were going to change the uh, uh, driving shop. Okay, the part number for the driving shop for Roboku MP550 Ultra is uh, part number 39343. Driving shop, MP550 model. So it is a driving shop with the part number of 39343. And also we were going to change the uh, blade. For the blade, the part number is 39345. So 39345, the other one is 39343 for the driving shop. Okay, so this is the driving shop and this is for the blade. As you see here, the blade comes together with the, with the seal and the blade itself. Okay, so let us start opening now the uh, unit. So we could, uh, I can able to show you how easy it is to uh, service and replace this. So first we remove the bell, the blade, because this thing has a vibration and noise. Okay, so we remove the blade. The next step, step is we will going to remove the mount -off. So I pre-open uh, this in order for us to quickly uh, uh, open and understand how it is easy to uh, open this unit. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure the uh, power is disconnected for safety. And uh, using the uh, flux driver, we can simply open this cover here, like this. Okay, on both sides. And then, uh, with the Allen key, using the uh, Allen key, Torx 20, we can uh, easily open these uh, screws. Okay, on both sides. So once this thing is open, you can simply pull it out. I have to open it so that it will uh, not take so much time. This is just for illustration. So we have opened this using a uh, uh, Torx 20, a Linky. I mean Torx 20. Then you can pull out the motor. Okay, and then disconnect this. And also this. Then you can separate this easily. Next step is, we have to pull out this motor part from the uh, in a driving shop housing. So just simply slide it out. Okay. Once it is tied out, you can see here that there is this connecting shop, the uh, rotor shop, and the drive shop. This is inside. So since our mission is to open this uh, drive shop, the driving shop we will go into replace. The new drive shop, it has this special tools inside, okay, which we uh, going to use here to remove the, um, the old driving shop from inside. So uh, as you see here, the part number is 39343, Robocop, for MP550 driving shop. So for the driving shop, 39343, and for the, uh, for the blade, 39345. Okay. So we're going to take this uh, special tool so we can use to open and remove the driving shop. So see here, this is the tools. For the tool, press the lock from here, like this, so that the lock will disengage. Okay. And you can find inside a uh, sports catalog for instruction how to replace. So here, the instruction for the uh, driving shop. And the instruction also to replace the, uh, the blade. Okay, so now we will proceed to open the driving shop. So using a hammer and chisel with the uh, spatial tool. Okay, so see here the spatial tool just simply fit here and press. And then after pressing, we can simply punch the driving shop from here, from here inside. Here. So we'll use a chisel to punch this outside. Okay, so I press here and then put the chisel here and with a hammer. Okay, so as you see here, these things come out. The old driving shop. Okay, so we're going to remove this uh, uh, part here where we can install the new driving shop. Okay, so how to fix this? At first, you have to clean the, uh, the uh, driving shop housing. Make sure that uh, it is hygienic enough because we're using it for full production. And uh, take note that it has this uh, locking system here, okay, and this part, this part, and here. So this should match up over here, okay. So here it should match up, and the hole here, and the hole as well. Now that we have opened the uh, old drive shop, we can uh, verify to make sure that they are exactly the same, just to verify. So as you see here, they are all the same length, same diameter, and same fixation. So we'll now start to fix it over here. So before we insert this inside the uh, driving shop uh, housing, make sure that this opening part is well tight. So using vice grip, you can simply grip this. And uh, with the special tool, which is also from Robocop, we can use this to tight the opening. Okay? So once we make sure that this is well tight, we can start now to insert it inside. 
Okay, so we're going to start now inserting this inside the uh, drive housing. Uh, pointers to remember, these two lock rib should match here and here. And this this part, this part should match over here. So this is our reference. This part should match here and the other part should match over here. So we insert now. Okay, so as I said, this part will match over here and this part will match over here. So make sure that they are properly aligned so it will lock in the housing properly. Okay, so this is our match up, match, match point here and here. Okay, now we have to push it using this special tool from Robocop and with our hammer. Okay, notice this that this is already well insert, inserted because the lock is already there and as well as here and also here. Okay, so see now that this is uh, this thing we can turn as it's already fit properly. Okay, so now we can assemble this back to the housing. So the first thing we need to do is to insert this back over here. So we have to match this, the, the, the guy to fix this, is this two uh, screw thread should cross match over here and here, since they are having the same distance. And uh, previously before I dismantle this, I put a marking so that I can easily cross match it. And make sure that uh, this driving shop and this uh, rotor shop is properly connected. The easiest way is to find the slot over here inside. Okay. You need to center this over here. There is a slot, you need to center this over here. So, and this should center as well on your here in the middle of the screw over here okay so once you are sure that they are all aligned you can simply insert like this and then turn the wheel once you turn this you see that the impeller on the blade is turning so, so that means it is cross match okay then we can start now fixing the, the cover okay so we have fixed it so we have to bolt it this way and then we're going to fix over here like remember that there are uh, two socket and uh, two couple socket for the speed controller don't forget to fix it before closing the cover so the reference is always to mark this screw here so if you cross match on the other screws and this should always be aligned on the slot inside the drive shaft then using your forks you can simply close it this way the same thing on the other side with the screws Make sure that they are all tight. Okay, once it's tight, you can check now the rotation. See, if I turn the pellet here, the blade should, the uh, motor blade or motor pan should turn as well. So if I need a counter here, okay, they are well secured and connected. Okay, so after we assemble it and tighten all the screws here, now it's time to fix back the cover. This uh, main blade on both sides. Now it's time to start and try. So we're going to plug this. Okay, no power is on. Then press this and start. So see now, the blade is turning and we uh, solve the problem of the noise and vibration. Okay, so since this is okay now, we can uh, proceed for the, bell, uh, for the bell blade replacement. So we keep this aside and proceed for the bell blade. So using this special tool, this side is for the blade. So make sure that it's matching here on the blade because this will be the, the tool to stop the blade while we are opening the, uh, the lock here or this connecting, uh, connecting joint. So using this uh, special tool, we can open this by inserting this will going to match up here inside. Okay, so like this, then clockwise. So now we have opened it. This is the part that we remove because normally this is getting worn out. So the new part it has this new bed, uh, connector on the blade. Okay, so next step is we need to punch this out again using our uh, chisel pointed chisel we can simply push this blade shaft out okay so this is the blade now the next step is we need to remove the this uh, bearing housing because we are going to replace it completely okay so what we need to do is open this and then we will push it out okay so after we uh, remove the blade place WD-40 inside over here and then using a number 18 socket you can simply insert it here and then hammer it down ok 
Okay, so we have removed it. Now that we have removed the old, uh, the old uh, blade housing, or the blade bearing, we can now uh, clean the, uh, the blade housing so that we can easily fix the new part. Okay, so make sure that it's uh, clean properly so that uh, you will not have any obstruction while you're fixing the new uh, blade housing. Okay, so let's cross match now the new part. So they are, uh, they are really uh, identical. Okay. So this part, it will go inside here. Here, like this. Okay, so now we're going to fix it. So make sure that this guy and this slot will match up. Okay, so like this. And then we will go into hammer it down. Same like the, using the socket number 18. So uh, I have noticed here that it's better to use socket number 21 as it's really fit on the full surface of the uh, blade housing. Okay, so we fix it here and then hammer it down till it reaches here, flashing with this housing. Okay, so now it is uh, uh, properly sitting here. We can now fix the water blade. Okay, so we're going to fix it this way and fix the new connecting coupler uh, like this. Again, using the special tool from Robocop, we are going to fix this right like this and tight this in proper tight. Okay, so now it is tight and secure using this. Now we are going to check. Okay, so it's perfectly well. Okay, and then we can connect over here. Okay, so after we replace the uh, uh, blade and also the uh, drive shaft, we are going to test it now. So we press here, lock, and then start. So as you see here, that is perfectly okay. No vibration, no uh, abnormal sound, it's just the impeller. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and you learned something. If you like, please like and subscribe and share. Thank you so much. God bless. Randy Picks.